Hi! In this tutorial, we'll create a simple animation for the Buy button of our Comfy sample project. We'll be doing this from scratch, adding a new button, changing its properties, and then creating the animation so that it plays automatically each time the screen is shown. We'll achieve this through the States feature. We'll create a starting state in which the button is not visible, and a second state where the button is in its final position. We'll then create a nice transition to take us from the first state to the second. Let's begin. Let's open the Product Details screen where we have removed the Buy button for the purpose of this tutorial to see how we can add it back from scratch. To do so, we press Command plus F on the Mac or Control plus F on the PC to open the global search panel. In the search field, we type the word Button. Let's filter our results to only see iOS components. We'll then select the button with background from the list and add it to our canvas by double-clicking on it. We'll move it to where we want it to be. Let's change its contents to Buy by double-clicking on its label. Finally, we'll change its style to resemble the button as seen in the sample project. Looks good. Now, in order to create our animation, we have to convert the Buy button to a container. You can do this by right-clicking on the button and selecting Convert to Container. Let's edit the container by selecting it from the Containers menu. We'll resize the container's canvas so that the animation has some space to play. The canvas should be as wide as your prototype screen and a little bit taller than the button. Since this is the state where the button is not visible, we'll drag the button below and outside the container's canvas. Now let's add a new container state. This will create state 2, which is a copy of state 1. Great. State 2 should have the button in its final position, so let's drag the button to the center of our container. We'll proceed with adding a transition to take us from state 1 to state 2 so that the button appears with a nice animation. Proto.io automatically creates a default transition timeline. You can use the playhead along the timeline or the play icon to preview this transition animation. Let's take a look at the easings menu and add the final touch with the ease back effect. Excellent. The animation works as intended. Returning back to the product details screen, expand the container area in the same way that we did within the container. An even easier way to achieve this is by choosing the Set to Original Size option from the right-click menu. All that's left is to create a trigger to launch the button animation. We want the button animation to play each time we see the Product Details screen, so in this case, we'll use a Screen Interaction. To add a Screen Interaction, go to the Product Details screen thumbnail in your Screens menu and click the Edit Screen Interactions button just below it. Click Add a New Screen Interaction. From the Triggers menu, pick Screen Show. Under the Action menu, select Change Container State. Finally, pick the container you want and specify which state you want the trigger to change it to. To make sure the animation plays seamlessly every time we enter the Product Details screen, we have to add another interaction. This time, the interaction will instruct the container to change back to its original state on Screen Hide. Now, let's save and preview our work. Fantastic! The animation works perfectly. Let's leave this screen and come back to test that the animation plays correctly every time we return to this screen. Seems like it works just as intended. Thank you for watching. Feel free to take a look at the rest of the Proto.io Learning Series video tutorials covering everything you need to know about Proto.io.